first heard rap? How old were you? It was around, I had to be around nine. I started when I was nine, because I started the next day after I heard it. You came home and started writing. Writing down. Tell you, writing all kind of uh, whatever, anything that I could think of. You know, like uh, obsessively. You know, I used to write for hours upon hours and hours. I would just write into this notebook, sideways, crooked, on top, over there. You know, it was just a mess of, uh, of words. I used to write every day. Every single day, in the kitchen, banging on the table, my mom's like, please, get us a break back here. But I was just writing, it was just, it was, I wasn't writing with the intentions of having a record deal or anything like that, it was just something that I like to do. Check. Here I am, the man, I'm swinging and singing and bringing the light on the mic, again, together forever, endeavors to always prevail, well, whatever the weather, I'm better you Now as I start getting further and further away from that notebook, as I start uh, moving around in the street a bit, these thoughts, I wrote so, so obsessively that these thoughts would come to me, you know, I would be in the streets and people would be talking to me, I just went. So I would go into the uh, bodega and I would, you know, buy a quarter water or something, anything, and scribble on a notebook, put it in my pocket until I got back to the notebook and transferred it. But as I got further and further away from that notebook, I had to, you know, I had the story in my mind. So I started memorizing four or five, uh, you know, songs at a time. Talk right now. Let's take back to a second, uh, scratch. Now I had to put that on myself. Nobody would sign me. They thought I was terrible. Every single record, I went to every single record label. They was like, this guy's terrible. He's nothing. Like it went from singles. Like I would press up singles, put in the car. I had to go to the record company. I mean, go to the record stores myself. And here, yeah, take this. Come back, get a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Give them some more records. I mean, it was really, it really started like that. Like, no one gave me anything. They didn't give me a record deal. They didn't, they didn't give me anything. Like, I, I really, I really just took my time and grew it step by step by step by step. My feeling is whenever inspiration will find you, you have to find it. And luckily for me, I've been in this business a minute. I know a couple people. Some of them are just permanently inspired. Play me something, man. Mm -mm. You play, play me something. I know where I'm going. Huh? You play me something. Mm. He said you're going to do the whole song tonight. Sometimes you work with people because they legends, other times they just hot. Sometimes you work with people because there's a synergy there. We all work with a lot of different people in this business, but there's those special combinations that you know just brings out the best in you. Yeah, yeah, because I want to feel in, I want to feel in it, yeah. I'm thinking maybe we start a cappella. You're having girl problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems, but it ain't one hit me. Bam, right into the first no, I, got the, I guess uh, telling the truth in, in rhyme and connecting to a, 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 a disenfranchised group of people. Well, not anymore, right? Now it's just all about his emotion. Like, the detail and the emotions and the songs that I, that I sing uh, just connect the people all over. Like, take a song like Hard Knock Life, which was a Broadway play. You know, to turn that into a song on a rapper's album is not typical, right? But what's typical is the emotion of what's being sang in the chorus. You know, instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. And that's, an, that's a, a worldwide emotion, right? Everyone wants to root for the underdog, whether it's an orphan or, you know, a little black guy from Marcy that's uh, running around with drug dealers. Like a lot of times, you know, you'll see me somewhere, you know, I'm not very vocal and you think something wrong and I'm just standing there and I'm just observing. I just watch people, I'm very observant. I just watch people, I watch their actions and the things they do, things that they like, things they dislike, you know what I mean? So, and that's just me naturally. That's not me taking care of business. That's just what I do. So, when it comes time to, um, you know, to work with some of these people, 
you know, I just apply all those things, all those, you know, all those little things that I've noticed and picked out, you know, the way, you, you know, she liked the good shoes and da 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 and blah, and just put it all down. Hello. I think when you make music, you want people to hear it and hear different things, and then you want it to start a dialogue mm -hmm. because that's how we get to understanding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you felt that way about it. This is actually what I meant because this happened and these things happened that led to me saying this specific thing. You've taught, you've bared your soul so much, not only in this album, and I mean, you can sort of see the evolution of a person in your music. Part of me would think, oh my God, I gotta talk about my marriage, I gotta talk about my mother, I gotta talk about my other ancestors. Part of me would think that would make me nuts. That's who I am. And I've done it from the beginning of my career. Two things, you know, one, no one knew the characters, so it wasn't as impactful, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and two, it wasn't coming from a place that was as evolved. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult, you know, it's hard. It's hard mm -hmm. to hear songs back. It's hard to perform songs. But um, I feel it's the most important work that I've done and I'm very proud of it and the, the effect that it's having on people. And mm -hmm. even like the studio sessions, right. you know, we were having four hour conversations after playing one song. Mm -hmm. I learned so much about people that was around me, just my mm -hmm. friends, I learned. Mm -hmm things about them that I didn't know that right. in 20 year relationship just from this one song so I right. knew it would have that sort of impact beyond myself mm -hmm. it's my responsibility as an artist to, mm -hmm. to go to these places even with women you are shut down emotionally so you can't connect infidelity you can't connect because exactly. you can't connect because of the way you feel about yourself you mean yes in my case, like it's, it was, it's deep. <laughs> 